events. They're fun and can be a great marketing tactic, but 2020 kind of put the brakes on the in-person events and we saw the rise of virtual events. So now, which do SMBs prefer? We'll find out in this episode. Corey's Local Marketing Minute is brought to you by iPublish Media. Increase new accounts and grow local ad revenue by delivering the types of campaign SMBs want to buy today. Learn more by visiting iPublishMedia.com or by emailing sales at iPublishMedia.com. And now, the shaman of local marketing, Corey Elliott. Events. We all like a good party, but marketing events are a serious business. Oh, they can be, depending on which event. And by events, we're talking about trade shows, or fairs, markets, expos. Can also be educational seminars, sporting events. Anywhere where an SMB, in this case, can talk one-on-one -on -one with a potential customer. Well, we got curious about 2020's effect on event marketing, and if it changed SMB's perspective on this whole thing. Because this is a pretty important category. Let me show you. So let's lay some foundation. How important is event marketing to local advertisers? Well, can you guess how many local advertisers in 2018 said they participated in a local event? 51%. That's the second highest participation rate in terms of marketing tactics. Second only to social media. Pretty impressive, right? A higher participation rate than any other form of advertising. So what about 2020? What did 2020 do? Well, participation rates dropped to 40%. You might think, ooh, ooh, it has a drop. It's still, even with everything going on, was number three in participation, this time behind social media and SEM. Not bad for a pandemic year. I just think I said pandemic. Anyway, so we wanted to get into this a little deeper. And we asked our SMB panel, have you participated in an event in the past five years? 59% said, yeah, we have. Okay. So we know 2020 changed a lot and virtual events became very popular. So what was the split there? If you participated, did you participate in person or online or both? 53% said in-person, 43% said both, and 6% said digital only. So if you just go by participation rates, you can kind of see that there's a swing towards in-person, even in a pandemic year. But what about these guys? The people who took a chance on digital, do they now prefer it? Well, to answer that, we asked them to get an answer to the question. And when we asked which types of events have been most effective for your business, 64% of them agreed with one. Can you guess? You only have three choices. 64% agreed in-person was more effective. Now, 8% said digital was more effective, and 28% said there's no difference. So before we move on, let me recap three important things. Why did I hold up two fingers? Three important things. These three things. Right now, events are third behind social and SEM in terms of participation. In-person is preferred, but digital is gaining ground. Remember, you had about half doing some kind of digital. Digital events, I mean. How are they finding out about these things? Who's coming to them with these opportunities? Somebody must be hitting it out of the park. You would think. For now, I'm just going to concentrate on five different kinds of sellers for event marketing opportunities. Special event coordinators, radio, TV reps, newspaper reps, and agencies, right? Any of these five can go pitch an SMB on a local marketing event, right? So, who's knocking it out of the park with something so many local businesses want? Well, we ask. It's important to understand the question. We ask, what type of companies have pitched event advertising to your company? And which have you purchased from? So here we got pitched, here we got bought. Okay, the way to read this, 50% of the local businesses say, hey, we were pitched by a special events coordinator. 47% of them said a radio rep pitched an event. 31% said TV, 37% newspaper, 28% agencies. So what about buying? Well, here you go. 26% of SMBs bought from a special event coordinator. 16% bought from radio. 8% TV, 17% newspaper, 4% agencies. And these two numbers, when combined, give you a what? Class? That's right, a close ratio. So here you go, 52% of the time, a special event coordinator pitched an event, it was bought. 38% of the time for radio, 25% for TV, 46% for newspaper, and 14% for agencies. Agencies, I'm talking to you. Really, you don't think events are where it's at, or you're just not good at selling them? That was snarky, I'm sorry, but kind of fun. And really, events cover a wide variety of things, I understand that. But there are pretty significant swings as far as close ratios go. And these numbers kind of suggest that local businesses still might not be seeing anybody as a one-stop shop. And get all my advertising from an agency, but if I'm going to an event, I I gotta talk to somebody up here. Could be an opportunity. Speaking of fantastic events, the 12th annual Burrell Conference, March 6th to 8th, 2022, if that wasn't obvious, we don't have a time machine, taking place in 
Miami, Florida, not Ohio. Go here, BorrellMiami.BorrellAssociates.com, or just go to our site and look for our conference link and learn all about it. Come down, hang out, learn stuff. It's sure to be a blast. You've been watching Corey's Local Marketing Minute, sponsored by our friends at iPublish Media. Learn more at iPublishMedia.com. And if a few minutes with Corey isn't enough, you can hear more of his insights on the Local Marketing Trends podcast. Just look for the podcast link on BorellAssociates.com.